Hey there, it's Rolla, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use ratchet straps without scratching your motorcycle or any other object that you don't want to scratch. Okay, first of all, I like to use a good, strong ratchet strap for my motorcycles or anything that's sort of heavy. Now, you'll see a lot of people, they'll, this is my son's motorcycle. You'll see a lot of people, they'll put the hook right around the handlebars here like this. Well, over time, with all the moving around, like even a little bit of vibration, it's going to scratch the paint on your handlebars. So there's a way around that without doing that. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the hook right through. And you're going to bring it to about right there. And now you're going to wrap this strap around here and you're going to come around these hooks a couple times so that's going to create a good bond okay we're going to snug this up now like this so as you can see it's good and snug this is not going to let go so you just have your strap going around the handlebars instead of the hook and this is going to be strong. Once I tie up the other side, it'll all tighten up nice together. And again, no scratches. But I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you a better way to strap down your motorcycle. Okay, so a better way to strap down your motorcycle. I always used to try and strap my motorcycle down with my bike sitting upright off the kickstand. And I noticed that when I would strap down my motorcycle and I was strapping it down from the handlebars, one on each side, it would, you know, you'd pull down on your uh, bike and compress the, the shocks and it made for a tight fit. But I also noticed that the wheel kind of moved around a little bit because I don't have anything in my trailer to hold the wheel straight. Then I tried something new. So I left the kickstand and the bike leaned over a bit, so on the kickstand. So then I took the straps and I tie one around here and I try not to tie it around anywhere where it's gonna cut the strap, just around this one fork and on the other side as well. But on this side, there's a, you got your brake caliper, but you, it's still okay to run the strap through here because it's not gonna be, be uh, cutting or anything on anything sharp there. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. And this alleviates any pressure on the shocks. It's just a good, strong tie down. And the bike will bounce around probably a little bit on the shocks while riding down the road. But I found that it doesn't make a difference because it's so solid tied down here at the front. And this wheel will not shift around with any bouncing or anything like that on the, down the road. And you don't have to get out and check your straps all the time. So I'll show you that right now. Okay, you can see that the bike is leaning on the kickstand and it's slanted. Now this is just a DRZ125. I can fit two side by side. They're my boys' bikes. Okay, so I'm going to put this strap, this hook, through here around the fork. And I'm not going to hook that hook to anything. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this strap around this part of the hook and only part that's going to touch these forks is the strap, just like I showed you previously. So we're going to wrap this around here. We're going to go around here a couple times like this. So there we go. We have our secure knot, if you want to call it that. And then, sorry for the noise. <laughs> I'm going to tie this end down, the ratchet strap side, to the tie down of my trailer. There we go. Okay, so I just gave it a little bit of a tug, so because if you go too hard, the back wheel is going to pick up off the trailer. So we got a good snug strap here, and you can see that the strap is fitting around here nice, and there's no way of the strap cutting or anything. So you're holding the front wheel down snug. And that, that's pretty snug now. I will do the other side as well. 
Okay, so I have another strap and we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll go around the fork and we'll wrap this strap around here a couple times. Like... Like that. Okay, now we'll put this end here down from the tie down. Now these straps are pretty long for this kind of application. You can buy shorter straps. And we'll start to ratchet this up. Let's snug it up good now. Let's give it one more. As you can see that's pretty tight. We'll check the other side. It's tight. And that's pretty much it. We'll put the excess strap in here. So as you can see, everything's snug, everything's safe. These are hooked around the hooks really good, like the straps around the hook, instead of hooked onto something else here, which you should not do. And I'll just make sure that's good and snug one more time. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. All right, we'll give it a test now. And as you can see, this bike is tight. Now it's gonna ride on the shocks, but those straps won't loosen up because they're strapped right to the base of the forks and the wheel. And as you can see, this ain't going anywhere. I don't even have the back tied down and it's leaning on the kickstand here as well. So this bike is snug as a bug. All right, I wanted to show you this part here one more time, just the way it's hooked up. You could rewind and watch the video again in case you didn't catch how I did this. I'm telling you, this is just as strong as if you're just directly hooked onto the bike anywhere. And this way you're not going to scratch anything, any object. So make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you another video that I have that will show you how to use ratchet straps like a pro. I want to thank you for watching. Please comment, hit the like button. Subscribe if you like and hit that notification bell so that you know when I have another video coming out. And it's been a pleasure showing you how to use ratchet straps so you don't scratch your toys.